The St. Lawrence Arts Center has a full slate of films, concerts, art installations, and performances to keep you entertained throughout the summer. Theater manager Whitney McDoor gave Leslie McVean a preview of the upcoming events. Well, Whitney, every time I turn around, the St. Lawrence is adding something new to the lineup. <laughs> and you've just recently started a film program. That's true. Tell me a little bit about that. We just started this past month, or in June, um, with Rated Local, which was a movie that had been organized by a couple local um, filmmakers and producers. Um, and I saw it at the Nickelodeon, mm -hmm. and I loved it. And then I met the guys who had started it, and they got me going with this idea of a local monthly film series going at the St. Lawrence. So you've had the first one. Yes. And that was last Friday. Mm -hmm. How was the attendance? It was pretty good. It was about half full, and um, a bunch of people from the Monjoy Hill community, which is fantastic. We're really trying to, you know, pull people in because the St. Lawrence is actually an excellent place for a movie house. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a huge sight screen that we hang, and we seat 110 to 115 in our theater. Oh, I hadn't realized it was that many. Um, people say the seats are com more comfortable than the Nickelodeon. <laughs> 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 and we have beer and wine and snacks, which is great, too. That's really fun. Mm -hmm. So what's the next one coming up? The next one in um, August, or in Ju July, mm -hmm. is going to be Damnation Land. And it's a series of um, horror short films, oh. um, all local filmmakers as well. Oh, terrific. Here's the cover. Right. <laughs> That's great. Yep. Damnation. So <laughs> um, if you go onto our website, you can read more about it. Mm -hmm. and, and your website is? www.stlawrencearts.org. Great. And then there'll be, once a month, you'll be doing some August, yep. you'll be doing another uh, theme. Exactly. Or, mm -hmm. um, we're working on mapping out the next few months, and um, we are also taking submissions for shorts and for full features. Mm -hmm. So it, it, they won't all just be shorts, they'll... Nope, so. hopefully a healthy mix. Mm -hmm. And depending on what works for each night, uh, some nights in the future might just be one artist showcasing their work, mm -hmm. or it might be a series of people. And are you trying to focus on local yep. filmmakers? Yep. So many times will you have the filmmakers actually there for discussion after a film? Yes, hopefully, um, every time, if possible. I would love to get a Q&A going after each show. Mm -hmm. I think that would be fantastic. I think so, too. And there are so many creative people in the Portland area. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you go to the St. Lawrence, you get everything. You've got you've got the films now. Yep. Um, you have art hanging on the walls. Yep. Um, you have stand-up comedy. You have plays. You have music events. Yeah. Um, you are becoming the arts center. Um, yeah, we're uh, trying. Yeah, <laughs> it's really exciting. Now, what if somebody has a film they want to submit? What what, what, what should they do? A filmmaker locally mm -hmm. um, or even in Maine has work they'd like to submit, they can go straight to our website, stlawrencearts.org, and find my contact information, mm -hmm. um, my email or my phone number, and they can just contact me, and then we'll be in touch about how to get a hold of um, a DVD or some sort of format of their work. And it's fairly reasonable to uh, attend. I think you kept the price low. Yep, $5, and we're hopefully going to keep it that way. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you have, as you said, snacks and beer and wine available for purchase. Yep. All right. Can people bring in their own snacks? <laughs> people can. They better be quiet about it yeah. and clean about it, but they can. Um, and it's all ages so far. We haven't, um, you know, if we have to address that, we will, but right now it stands all ages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, you're still in the process of, of uh, raising money for the new addition oh, yes. to the uh, yeah for sure and and how's that going that's going well um we're in the works of uh you know working out the final plans the logistics but um we were able to start this year fundraising for it which is fantastic and you know we're hoping that that only speeds up you know that the process is continues well so that we can you know do that maybe in 10 years. And it will be uh, uh, an area that will hold considerably more people? Yes, it'll see, I believe, close to 400 
Right. And um, it'll be an ideal space for concerts mm -hmm. and um, acoustic, acoustic shows. Right. Add more to the list. Yep. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Wendy. Yeah, of course. Thanks right. so much for having me.